As we know, the pandemic is having an impact on almost every aspect of our lives, but its ripple effect is also being felt by animals. The RSPCA says it's dealing with a surge in the number of horses being abandoned because of the financial pressure faced by their owners. Well, now the charity is asking other horse lovers to help, as Duncan Kennedy reports. For these horses, this is a field of dreams. Somewhere for now that Becky, Hallie, Brett and Bert can call home. Hello. Juliet Cox is one of those who now looks after them. Juliet, they're incredibly friendly now. Yeah, these two are now. I mean, when they... She says it's hard to understand how anyone could treat them like this. Good boy, Bert. Just wish that people would ask for help because um, there, is, there is, you know, help out there um, so that you don't have to leave them, abandon them. There's been a surge in the number of abandoned horses across the country. This huge group was found recently in Northamptonshire. Many are in a terrible state. The RSPCA is now caring for around 750 abandoned horses, the highest number since 2009. Rosie Russon from the RSPCA says owners are getting rid of their animals during the COVID crisis because they can't afford to keep them. People are on furlough at the moment due to COVID. Um, they're struggling financially. Um, they're struggling to pay for the additional food costs, veterinary care for their horses. And um, the breeders are still breeding, unfortunately, and nobody can buy these horses. The cost of keeping abandoned horses is huge. Animal charities don't get any COVID-related support from the government. And the RSPCA says its income has dropped by half since March. The RSPCA says horses like Hallie, Brett and Bert here often arrive having been starved and ill-treated. But they say that after a few weeks of care and attention here by the RSPCA staff, they become friendly and able to be rehomed in a perfectly safe fashion. And that's why, ahead of winter, they're desperately appealing for help from horse lovers like Alison Hargreaves. She's agreed to take in one abandoned horse named Nellie. I've got two alpacas, she gets on well with them and with my other horse as well. She's a very quick learner, uh, she loves to be busy and doing things and I think we're going to have a load of fun together, haven't we? Hey? The RSPCA thinks the problem of abandoned horses will get even worse as the financial difficulties of Covid deepen. An equine dimension to an economic crisis. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News in Kent.